Hi everybody, I'm Serge Kekinembi from www.jcstream.com and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Trading Watches TV. And thanks for tuning on this today's broadcast. Time to trade the markets, the week ahead and perspective. We're going to have a look at the economic data, markets, currencies, commodities and bonds for the US, UK, EU, China and Japan. We're going to have a look at macroeconomic data and also we're going to look at commodities precious metals cryptos and also i'm going to comment a few things and a few charts okay and first of all let's begin and let's have a look at the economic calendar and to see what's happening <clears throat> for the last week of the year 2017 so first you know that you can follow me and find me here at three, uh, three www.jctream.com slash solutions to see what I'm offering as far as services and products. Okay, so now let's begin and over here, let's have a, an overview of the, of the current situation of some of the major countries. And over here, first of all, you have the United States. Let's take a look, let's have a look at the growth of the GDP, 2.3%. Interest rates, remember we had a rate hike uh, two weeks ago. Now we are at 1.5%, inflation at 2.2%. And what else? Currencies and stuff like that, we're going to have a look at that at on the uh, technical analysis when we're going to have a look at charts. For the EU over here, uh, GDP growth for the year, that's 2.6%, interest rates 0%, inflation rate 1.5%, and the currency versus the US dollar 1.19%. Over here, China, GDP growth for the year 6.8%, interest rate 4.35%, inflation rate 1.7%, and currency versus US dollars, uh, 5.56. Japan, GDP growth for the year, 2.1%. Interest rate minus point minus uh, 0.1%. Inflation rate 0.2%. And uh, currency versus the US dollar, 130.25 uh, yen. And over here, the, uh, the uh, UK GDP year for the year 1.7 percent in interest rates 0.50 percent we also had a hike uh, like a month ago i mean if i uh, do remember well and over here inflation 2.1 percent and the currency versus the us dollars the us dollar 1.34 percent so now let's move on and let's have a look at the economic calendar let's have a look at the uh, major countries and we'll, let's have a look at what's going to take place on the trading week for beginning on monday december the 25th that's a holiday due to christmas and until friday december the 29th okay so we have japan on tuesday an employment rate for november and inflation rate year over year for november on friday december the 29th we're gonna in germany we're gonna have inflation rates year over year and on sunday december 31st that's the last day of the year 2017 in china we're gonna have the nbs manufacturing pmi for december okay so now let's begin and let's have a look at the united states situation First of all, let's have a look here or here over here the uh, weekly performance for the S and P five hundred companies, and over here as you can see that's a mixed week. We are at record high. Uh, with last week was a week uh, with a doji. Uh, so you see over here worst performing sector was utilities and healthcare. Uh, great performance for the uh, basic materials over here industrial goods mixed week uh, consumer goods also a mixed week great week for services mixed week for technology and also a mixed week for uh, financials great week over here you see that the, for the industry of the money cent center banks now let's switch and let's move on to the etf on the etf side as you can see us flat week over here for the indices you see the uh, inverted so the uh, volatility index over here in red you see global miners and stuff like that in green commodity in green sorry about that all the commercials international in green u.s government the bonds and fixed income in red over here small caps in green and over here sectors best performing sector that's energy worst performing sector utility and real estate okay so now and the industry over here you see the xlv in red 
Now let's move on and let's have a look, a quick look at the uh, situation over here for the United States. You see the Dow Jones Industrial Average since 2017, beginning the year at 20k and now close to 25k. So that's a five thousand points gain in one year so that's wonderful for the dow jones nasdaq exactly the same situation beginning the year 2017 at 5k and now we are close to 6500 dollars so that's that's more than a, a close to a uh, 1500 points gain in one year over here the s p 500 beginning the year close to 2300 and now closing the year close to 2700 so that's a close to a 400 points gain so we remain bullish entering 2018 but a, uh, we'll do also for a correction so be cautious okay so the VIX you see over here beginning the year at uh, 14 points and now closing the year at close to uh, below uh, 10 points so you see uh, some spikes in volatility over here in April in July in August and beginning of September and last uh, uh, volatility spike was in uh, like a month ago okay a month and a month and a half okay so now let's continue and over here let's have a look at fixed income and over here first of all the 10-year treasury note you see over here we have a multiple bottom since 2017 over here at 123 and as you can see now we are back at that level so we are trading in a range and the range between 123.50 uh, as a support and 128 over here as a resistance so now we are going lower that's for your 10-year treasury notes futures over here we have the 10-year treasury notes yield and you see the yield is going up we are going back towards the 2.6 percent yield and over here that's it we managed to have a close above 2.4 percent you see over here huge um, horizontal move over here resistance big 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 resistance one time two time three time and now we are managing to go up you see over here the pointer at 2.48 percent and now we're going back towards the 2.6 percent so we're going to see that next week or maybe early in 2018 now the 30 years treasury bond futures over here you see a bottom from the bottom for at the beginning of the year over here at 148 uh, two time uh, double bottom and now maybe you're gonna have a, a triple bottom you see over here we have in uh, support at 152 one time no one time two time three time four time and the fifth time that's now we are breaking below that level and we are going towards the 148 level so maybe next week or early in 2018 and as far as the uh, yield is concerned what we can see now we managed to have a close above 2.8 percent and now we are going back towards three percent bond yield so we are a bullish you see you know they're, they're inverted if you see a lower bond price you're going to see a higher yield okay so that's it for the uh, treasury bonds now let's have a look at the us dollar the us dollar the dxy index future you see beginning beginning of the year 1.4 and now the low at 91 and now we are going back up towards 94 we rejected 95 maybe we are doing an a b c d so we are trending up but now you see we are here at, at below 94 and going back lower we have a gap over here so maybe we are, we're going to retest that level 93 maybe 92 and a half and maybe uh going back much lower towards 90 or we can uh, go back up towards 96 so in order to go back up we need to have a close above 94 and then that pivots point over here that resistance at 95 and then starting to trending up now let's have a look at crude oil crude oil you see beginning of the year at 55 we tested we retested those uh, 42 50 and now we're going back up we are up trending since uh, 2016 and now we're going back towards 60 dollars a barrel for the uh, crude oil so in 2018 we are up 
and we are bullish in oil so uh, we need to pay attention to what's taking place in the uh, OPEC nations and all these cuts and also the non-OPEC nations and <clears throat> if we cut production so that's going to put pressure on uh, higher prices for the uh, oil so we're going to see oil prices rising okay rise again towards 90 uh, towards 60 excuse me dollars 60 dollars and maybe much higher over here gold at the beginning of the year 11 11 20 now at 12 80 close to 12 80 you see over here we tested that particular 12 40 level you see that's lower we are making lower highs every time so we are uptrending and now we are going back towards 1300 and maybe towards 1360 that's our target for 2018 so gold will remain bullish on gold over here now let's have a look at silver silver at the beginning of the year at 16 dollars per ounce and now above 16 dollars once again you have a triple uh bottom over here and now maybe we are uptrending once again going back towards 60 uh, 17 uh dollars and we need to go much higher and have a close above 1650 in order to target uh, the 18 uh, dollars and maybe why not going back towards 19 and 20 so uh, let's have a look you see uh, here a silver we can say that we are bottoming and also you can see in head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders formation over here like that and if we can go higher so that's gonna be a pretty pretty uh, bullish for uh, silver okay so silver we are bullish on silver now let's move on and now let's have a look at uk what's happening in the uk over here for the uh, FTSE 100 FTSE 100 as you can see resistance at 76 hundreds points over here and now we are bullish we are still as you can see we are still uptrending and now if we manage to have a close above that particular level the FTSE is going to go towards 78 hundred points okay so that's it for the FTSE now over here what do we have we have the UK guild and for the guild also as you can see we have that particular trend line and another triangle so now over here if we have a close above that particular level that's your uh 126 50 127 you can go much higher towards the 128 but you need to be out of that particular range so you need a close above 129 in order to go towards 130 and 132 over here but you see that's lower lows and we are uptrending also for the uh, FTSE so the FTSE uh, no excuse me for the guilt UK guilt that is the 10 year treasury uh, bonds uh, government bonds for the uh, grant for the UK okay now the cable that's your uh, grand British pound versus the US dollar in weekly and over here we have exactly the same thing so now let's have a look here we are uptrending you see since 2017 uptrending lower highs each time clearly a bullish channel over here and now we are here so now if you manage to have a close above 1.25 you can go much higher towards 1.40 remember we have a gap over here that's a resistance at 137 and over here going back towards 1.40 okay so that's it for the uh cable over here that's your uh fxb so that's the uh you see the guggenheim currency shares british pound sterling index okay so that's it and over here that's exactly the same thing so we are uptrending since the beginning of 2017 you see here the trading range trading channel over here so if you manage to be uh, to go above 132 that particular level a close above 132 you see the region of the gap over here 122 so we can go much higher 136 and why not 144 pounds over here okay so that's it so we are bullish also on the uh, grand british pound now let's have a look at the eu so here that's your euro stocks your euro, euro stocks 50 what do we have over here for the euro stocks 50 also beginning of the year 
at that particular point and as you can see boom uptrending also a channel like that that over here we have a, a strong resistance one time two times so that's a double top maybe now a triple top over here so you need to have a close above that particular level now we're going sideways for uh, almost yeah since uh, mid october so now we are waiting and to see what's going to happen but we remain strongly uh, bullish over here if we go back uh, above 3600 we're going to go back towards 3700 and then if we break above that particular resistance we can go higher towards 3800 and make another new highs new record highs but we have um, a great great potential for a uh, bullish uh, bullish rallies over here okay now the euro bubble so that's your 10-year uh, treasury bond you see huge uh, volatility over here and as you can see let's draw some stuff here at the beginning of the year at that particular point we are going much 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 lower uh rem excuse me remember over here that we have to take a look at what uh, mario draghi the uh, ecb governor is doing over there the uh ECB is uh, going to continue is uh, QE uh, they said that they want to reduce um, the uh, purchasing um, the uh, purchasing uh, program uh, lowering that to 90 billion going back to 60 billion and they're trying to end the year at 30 billion you see in a uh, bond purchase so let's see uh, how it play out but as you can see over here strongly very very bullish but we have a huge uh, trading range between 130 over here 130 euros as support and 134 euros as resistance so that's a lot of volatility so you can have a lot of trades uh, in between so that's uh, pretty uh, that's uh, that's great for traders okay so now let's move on and let's have a look at china over here so now here in china that's your Shanghai composites over here and Shanghai composites what do we have also since the beginning you see uptrending that's your 2017 over here since 2017 we are also uptrending you see we have a resistance of uh, support excuse me over here at 3100 uh, points and over here resistance one time two time you see past resistance now support one time two time pivot points and now we are uptrending over here that's lower highs each time and we are we had a past resistance two times and now three times and now that's a support no maybe we are retesting that particular support and from here we can uh, i think that we're going to bounce because we have a lot and a great uh, potential to go uh, more 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 higher over here and going back uh, towards 3400 and then 3500 uh, points okay so Shanghai composites we are bullish on the Shanghai composites now let's have a look at china 10 year uh, treasury bonds also over here as you can see bullish since the beginning of the year that's our channel you see over here and now we have a resistance at four points so now we need to manage to be above uh, that particular level okay so that's it for the year at four percent we need to go much 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 higher so that's it over here now what do we have we have uh, china uh, the uh, us dollar versus the uh, chinese yuan the renminbi as you can see dollar much 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 higher and the us dollar selling off over here not going back higher not going back a little bit lower we are in a range over here between 6.57 and 6.68 over here so we need to be out of that particular level or towards the upside or towards the downside so let's pay close attention to uh, the uh, monetary policy of both the fed and the pboc okay and over here that's your renminbi um, uh, etf over here and as you can see for the moment we are going uh that's a uh, that's very very vol volatile and we are uh, going back you see over here we have that particular level we have a spike over here at 47 but we are uptrending over here so let's see what's going to take place during 2018 
okay now let's move on and over here what do we have we have the nikai over here nikai so japan first of all you see japan since 2017 japan japan going up for the nikai 25 uh, clearly we have a resistance at 23 a thousand points over here so let's see if in uh, 2018 we can manage to go much higher so now let's have a look over here the uh, jjb that's our government bonds also trading in a huge range since 2017 going much 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 higher you see over here the channel we are bullish over here we uh, now we are with testing you you see over here that's lower highs and we have a resistance at 120 we are at 150 121 that's our resistance another resistance over here at 121.50 so let's see if we remain bullish on that okay and over here what do we have the uh, US dollar versus the Japanese yen also exactly the same thing over here very very bullish you see the triangle formation over here but you need to go you need to be out of that particular range so now we are uptrending above 114 you're gonna go much higher towards resistance at uh, 118 over here okay so that's it for the uh, US dollar versus the Japanese yen and over here that's your uh, ETF and that's exactly the same thing so you can see here we have a trading range with 84 as a support and 88 as a resistance okay so it needs to be above that particular level take a look over here we have gaps at 90 and if we manage to go much higher so that depends on the uh, US dollar versus the uh, Japanese yen so we have a trade over there so uh, let's be cautious and pay close attention to uh, what can take place in the uh, forex market okay and now let's finish over here with cryptos you see crypto last 48 hours since yeah, last week was a uh, a week of uh, great great correction and as you can see over here the bitcoin touching 20k uh, as a resistance and then sell selling off over here first of all great distribution great uh, correction uh, a very very needed correction and very healthy so hopefully it's gonna go much lower and my target for uh, bitcoin uh, we're going to continue to sell off to correct uh, towards the 10,000 points level and maybe $8,000, okay? So that's it for Bitcoin. I'm going to continue the correction over here. Ethereum, exactly the same thing. You see over here close to $900 and now starting to uh, correct. And you see over here we have a resistance at 400 So maybe that's also my target. Target is $500 and maybe $400. And see, and, at, uh, and at those levels are going to be uh, very, very good to uh, start buying again. And over here, that's your uh, Bitcoin Cash. And Bitcoin Cash, exactly the same thing. $4,000 over here. And now going back much lower and targets two thousand dollars over here and over here now what do we have we have the ripple and here i have ripple at 1.2 uh, dollar and now i'm expecting ripple to go much lower towards 80 cents and maybe 60 cents of a dollar and let's have a look over here that's particular trading range and we have maybe a target at 50 cents for the ripple okay so people thank you very much so hopefully it helps and i see you next week okay have a wonderful christmas and be safe and enjoy your time with your family and i see you next week thank you very much bye bye